Now there's this beautiful young lady and her name is Angela. Angela is 21 years old and she's a college student. One day Angela was sitting in the park and she was reading a book and this guy walked up. Excuse me, ma'am, how you doing today? He said to Angela. Angela looked up as she put her book down. I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm fine. He smiled. Now Angela was mesmerized by his smile. Teeth bright as clouds. Dimples on both sides of his cheeks. Hair cut fresh. The fade is in. Hands nicely manicured with a physical fit body. I mean, room to a T. Shoes clean, shirt white, jeans pulled up with a belt. Angela said to herself, am I dreaming? Because she didn't think these type of guys exist. The guy then asked Angela, can I join you? Angela said, sure. Scooped over a little bit on the bench and allowed him to sit down right next to her. While sitting next to Angela, Angela looked at him and said, I didn't get your name. He replied to Angela, my name Mike, but my friends call me Mickey. Now, Angela is a daddy's girl. She lived with her father. Her mother passed away when she was two years old from medical complications. Now, Angela and Mickey start spending a whole bunch of time together, getting to know each other. So after getting to know each other for at least about two months now, Angela decided that it was time for Mickey to meet her father. So Angela decided to take Mickey back to her father's house and her house where she stayed in the car that her father bought for her. They pulled up in the driveway in front of the garage. She turned the car off, took her seatbelt off, and got out the car, and they walked to the front porch of the house. As she digging in her purse looking for the front door key, she hear a loud boom coming from the garage. Mickey quick turned his neck towards the garage and said, what was that? As they both stood there for a minute listening for sounds, they heard another boom along with some sounds of a man struggling. So Angela yelled out, Dad? At that very moment, the sound stopped. So Mickey looked at Angela and said, you want me to go check it out? Angela replied, how about we both go check it out? As they walked towards the garage, she goes to her car and she unlocks the door. Inside her car, attached to the sun visor on the passenger side, is the remote control to the garage. She pushed it. She then stepped out of her car and shut the door as the doors of the garage begins to go up. As it goes up, they see legs of a masculine figure and revealed as the garage door reached the top. Hey, shit is about to get real. So if I were you, I would join my membership club today. Patreon.com slash Lonnie B's members only. So you can keep up with all the tales on the street with Street Tales with me, Lonnie B. Now you might want to get over there now so you can find out what the fuck is going on on the streets because baby, the block is hot. Join today so you can keep up with my street tales.